Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. So that first episode I actually filmed uh, last night on the 25th, you know, right around midnight when the game came out. And nope, I don't want this to play. Um, and yeah, I'm awake up in the morning after releasing that episode and I'm here to record some more. I've got a big old thing of coffee in front of me and I'm good to go. So in that first playthrough, during some of the battles, um, I can let this play. These are kind of nice to, to take a look at, some of the different classes and stuff. Uh, but anyway, last night when I was playing, um, some of the combat arts were confusing me about the damage and stuff. But I was watching some of the footage back, and it looks like it like I was just looking at my regular might. And it wasn't actually showing me my full damage output with that might number. So when I get into the battle today, we're going to take a little closer look at that and make sure that I'm fully calculating damage results correctly. Um, just so that we don't, you know, we need to, we need to figure out what's going on there. Um, but yeah, let's get in there. Time to play. Professor, I've been looking for you. I was hoping we could all share a meal together. It could serve as both a victory celebration and a post-battle analysis. What do you think? I'm invited? This is funny, because, like, I'm, I'm actually a professor. So, <laughs> you know, like, hanging out with your students... Awkward. <laughs> let's let's just say it that way. It can be really awkward. So, yeah, it's not not typically a friendship sort of thing. I do uh, teach in the fine arts, so there actually is a little bit more camaraderie. I feel like than a lot of other schools have. Um, you can spend time with your students in ways that professors typically don't, but it it is still a little bit awkward. So, I'm invited. Of course. Why wouldn't you be? Come now, Professor. We can't very well celebrate without the key to our victory present. He's right. He really is. We were only able to win because we had your help, Professor. Yes. Compared with that boar who knows nothing save frontal attacks, your tactics were nearly decent. Felix, <laughs> Claude? we really ought to stop picking fights with His Highness. Don't worry, Ingrid. I encourage all to speak freely. And I must agree that the professor's tactics were truly extraordinary. Wait, was Felix talking learn. about Dimitri there? I thought oh, he was sure. talking about Claude. But today was exhausting. I'm so hungry I can barely stand. To be honest, so am I. Let's head to the dining hall. Together. Professor, I'm sorry to intrude, but... You don't look too happy for someone who just won. No, you're mistaken. <gasps> You say that, but your eyes tell a different story. I know we only just met, so this may be difficult for you, but... I'd love nothing more than to share our happiness with you. Joy can be so fleeting, after all. We're all in this together, so I hope you will consent. I'm sure the rest of the class feels the very same. Well, come along, Professor. Let's enjoy the fruits of our labor. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I did. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the Academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. Okay, Dimitri versus you, Edelgard, it sounds like. I have like. called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Okay. Bandits? 
Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need, regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline. Understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget, and I despise repeating myself. I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Bandits, they say. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Well, I'll try not to. <laughs> Can't make any promises. Yeah, that face. Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me. <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. So, I realize that this voice is, this voice actor is the same one who voices Morgana in Persona 5. Listen, Sothis, as long as you don't force me to go to bed all the time, we're good. We're good, okay? I mean, I can tell you have a lot of attitude, but um, we'll get along just fine as long as you uh, don't keep me from doing what I want to do. Right. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible. No one said anything about the Knights of Dan Saros being on our trail. You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But um. now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Okay, I find it interesting that... Uh... I mean, we saw a character that had a piece of a mask that could be related to this guy here. I forgot that guy's name. He had a strange name. But, interesting. Okay. Hey, this isn't what I agreed to! Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. Ooh. What? Underestimating the knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Wait! Get back Some kind there. of cult-like group, Damn maybe? You. Oh, so he's not going to kill him himself, he's just going to leave him to die. Got it. We're going to kill him. Do the job for him, I guess. Part White one. clouds. Harp string White moon. Clouds. Oh. Harp string moon. Familiar scenery. Your voice is much nicer. I'll let you do the do the honors. In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltine and Grander. There are new places to explore in the monastery and receive 2,000 gold from the Church of Saros as funding for this month's activities. Hopefully one of those places is a armory where I can get a new spear for Dimitri. Because I mismanaged his durability. As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study. 
but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, use your time wisely. I want to know more this about this guy. True battle. I'm looking forward to fighting alongside you, Professor. As am I. During the mock battle, your commands were thoughtful and thorough, as was your strategy. With you on our side, I'm confident we will prevail. It seems we have some time to spare before our departure. Let's use this opportunity to prepare as best we can. You seem yes. well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? I think so. Oh, I didn't expect that answer. When we I don't were think you liked the place very much. Everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now, but don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I, I don't intend to let anybody Lady die. Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever. He really doesn't trust the Church of Saros, which I find interesting. I want to get into that a little bit. It's Annette's birthday. Hey, she's in our party. Thank you. Yes, we're going to give her flowers. The monastery holds events with various effects, such as those which increase the benefits of the share a meal activity for certain characters. These events will appear on the calendar. Select Explore on your day off to participate. Okay, so lots of large fish, so fishing's going to be improved today, and so is uh, eating with people. Whatever that means. Marketplace. Yes. Armory. Okay. You need another lance. Oh, I have some of these in stock now? My convoy was empty the last time I looked. Can I manage my inventory right now? store one of those. I don't know what to do with intermediate seals yet. I'm guessing that that will be a class change. Okay, you have a vulnerary. Let's store that until we figure out how to repair it. No, they're not showing up. Interesting. Oh, the, they had a stock. That's not our stock. That's the marketplace's stock. I understand. Okay. Okay. Either way, you need an iron lance. Might not be bad to have a steel lance for you as well, but um, let's get Mercedes. You have level E in those. But let's get you a better than a training bow. You should have an iron bow, which is also E, right? Yes, it is. Yeah, that's might three, 
to might six, so doubles the damage. Maybe now she can actually kill someone. We'll see. She doesn't have very strong might to begin with, or very strong strength. Her strength is pretty weak. It's a level D weapon, so you could use one of these. You've got enough swords. Sometimes it's actually good to have really weak weapons like training swords in order to do less damage so that you can give experience to somebody that, you, that needs it more. So, you know, if Byleth had this training sword and was able to do a very, very light attack on somebody to get them really close to death, then somebody who's really weak like Mercedes is more likely to be able to get a kill. And getting the kill get, always nets more experience than just a normal attack that doesn't kill somebody. But uh, Mercedes is... She's made of glass, basically. So um, that's not uncommon for your... Heal, you know, your healing characters. Okay, I think that might be it for now. Maybe I should throw some things in the convoy. Oh yeah, don't I have a character who can do fist stuff? Where's the fist one? Let's see if somebody has... You have an E plus in it. E plus, E... I want to see more details, because I think that... I want to see those strengths and weaknesses. We'll have to figure that out. I should buy some vulneraries before I get rid of all my... money. <laughs> Does everybody start with a vulnerary? You've got two. That's good. You must have gotten one from an enemy that we beat or something. Shields, huh? PRT. Mm, I can't. I'm trying to push buttons to see if I can see what PRT means. Beginner seal, intermediate seal, torches. Okay, torches might be a thing. Door keys. Let's have one of those on hand. Um, our Ash character um, doesn't need door keys, apparently, according to his special ability. But probably good to have these. Used to temporarily, temporarily increase resistance, so magic defense. Wears off as turn count increases. Those could be useful. I'm gonna get one of these in the convoy. And an extra vulnerary. I'm gonna have to look at what those shields do. If every character has that, if that's like a piece of gear that every character can have, or... Maybe there are specific one-handed weapons that can also hold a shield, I'm not sure. Actually, did it say what this does? A shield made of leather, simple but... Okay, no, it's not like consumable that just increases defense. That one's new to me. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. Battalion Guild, you have not unlocked, and have not unlocked. Okay, let's start exploring. From the map screen, you can travel instantly to places you have already been. Press the R button to open the map, select a destination, and then press the A button to fast travel. Press the X button to see where to find each character and facility. Nice. Useful. The girl's voice, what could it mean? The next, the next mission is a real battle. This isn't child's play. Come see me for advice. Okay. I like to spruce up the menu in the dining hall. If you have any recipe ideas, let me know. Head chef. 
choir coordinator calling all students and rich your bodies and minds through choir, singing intel on strange movements by the Western Church Sabbath. Okay, weekly announcements, new weapons in stock, and new items in stock. Okay, now this is the fast travel menu. X to locate, cool, I really like that. So I'm guessing these are all the people that I can talk to, yeah? Facilities. All right, I'm just gonna walk around freely Oh, hey, look. What is this? Mint leaves. Okay, we're gonna have to keep an eye out for things that we can find in the world. Professor, hey, do you know how old Captain Gerald is? That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, how could my child know? <laughs> it's not normal to forget your own age, you know. It's kind of worrisome, actually. By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the point of caring. I guess if you put it that way, you've got a point. Recruit. Hey, I hope we get a chance to practice together when you find the time. I know I'm in a different class, but you're the only other person here who's learned from Captain Gerald. It seems this person isn't interested in Violet's house yet. Leone really values the following stat. This is somebody I wouldn't mind recruiting. Really values strength and Lance. Try recruiting this unit again after you gain more experience. So is that me specifically? I specifically need to be better with the Lance and have more strength? Is that is that what's going on here? So I'm guessing that those blue arrow ups mean that I'm more proficient naturally at those? Is that what that means? Details. Oh, I can't move over to that to see. Okay, strength, luck has various effects, lowers risk of enemy critical attacks. Defense, magic, I already know all this stuff. Dexterity, affects hit rate and critical. That's your magic resistance. Charm raises gambits, might, hit rate, and avoidance. Okay, that one's new. Has that one been in any other Fire Emblem games? Let me know in the comments if it has. Speed affects avoidance rate. Okay. Could be. Okay, supports. Yeah. I should be able to support with everybody. Some of these have S ranks. Okay. Professor, hey, do you that it's not by the time I guess if you put I have a oh, request. You can now lead a battalion into battle, search for the tactics primer in the captain's quarter and pursue it to get up to speed. been tasked with hunting down bandits, right? Meanwhile, my class is stuck with a downright peaceful mission. Sounds like you'll be fighting alongside the knights, too. Don't let the monastery down, Teach. We have only just arrived at the academy, and we're already being sent out to take care of bandits. It is a noble mission, but one that will likely require battle. In practice, there is little difference between a battle and a war. Even with the support of the Knights of Seros, we must still brace ourselves for the challenge. Do you have any other questions about life at the monastery? Or about battle? Just Faculty as students training. receive guidance from professors, professors may also guide each other. If you're interested, you should seek out Professor Hanneman or Professor Manuela. You can increase your skills by training with knights and professors in the monastery. Use the faculty training option to benefit from their wisdom. As the story progresses, faculty training will become advanced drills. Use this option to learn from any unit with a higher skill level than your own. Okay, so right now we can only do the professors, but later on our own units will be able to help train us in the areas they're strong in, it sounds like. A student's house is determined by their place of origin, but naturally, 
Each individual has their own aptitudes and interests. That said, if a student so desires and their current professor consents, they may transfer from one house to another. If you get to know the students better through the activities at the monastery, they may approach you about this. To recruit students from other houses, you will need to meet their requirements. Each student prioritizes different stats and skills. It is easier to recruit students who like you, so try building up your support level with students you'd like to recruit. Certain non-students will also become available for recruitment as the story progresses. Interesting. It is better if you do not approach me. Oh really, Daydu? If you spend too much time around a man of Dusker, there will be rumors. <coughs> do, do you have a reputation, Daydu? Or do you just have an abnormal sense of decency? I've heard your class is hunting thieves. That mission is very different from the one we were given. Why do you sound like such a creep? You're quite powerful to have beaten us in the mock battle. Such a shame you aren't leading our class. Someday. Someday, Edelgard, I will go through. And lead your house. It's thanks to my adoptive father, Lenato, that a commoner like me is here at the Academy. He is the very model of chivalry. Someday, I'm going to be just like him. Okay, so I think this is an area that's been opened up. The reception hall and the entrance hall. Training grounds, cathedral. Marketplace. Hello. Oh no, we 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 went in here last time. Okay. Our first assignment is to take out some bandits. Did anyone tell Lady Rhea that people's lives are at stake? I lost my own brother to bandits. Is something someone has said at some point, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, not my finest attempt at humor. Good try. I was thinking. I guess. The Knights of Saros are also known as the Shining Knights. We are the sword and shield of the divine Saros. There are many orders of knights in the world, but we are the only one that has the honor of bearing the name Saros. As a member of the church, you should probably study up on the history of Saros and the Knights. Yeah, I do have a lot to learn. Let's see. That person sure does remind me of somebody, but I can't figure out who. Who? Oh, do you need me for something? Sorry, but I'm really busy right now. Second floor? Where does this go? What? Such a The Red Canyon is a place of great significance to the Church of Saros. Even members of the church are forbidden from entering without permission. Yeah, something happened between Saros and what's the guy's name in the beginning cutscene? To go trampling around in there, causing trouble. Those bandits truly are morally reprehensible. Oh, so is that where we're going? We're going to go to the Red Canyon? Well. To fight the bandits? Interesting. Something glowing. Oh, they show up on the map. See the glowing yellow on the map? That's what brought me in here. Oh, this is for the mission. Visit the captain's quarters. Right? Tactics primer, a book containing the basics of tactics. It doesn't look like it's been Thanks read much. Help. Access the items menu to use, store, take, or swap items for your units. Items that cannot be carried will be sent to the convoy. Access the abilities and combat arts menus to equip your units with what they have learned. Use the battalion menu to assign battalions to your units. We don't know much about that yet. 
use the reclass menu to switch a unit's class to any for which they are certified. Classes a unit has mastered are marked with a star. Man, there's so much more control in this game over your character builds. It's kind of wild. The Crest Analyzer. There's some hair in the device. It looks just like my hair. Look at her face. <laughs> Excellent work guiding the students in the mock battle. Taking command like that? Simply splendid. And bearing the unknown Crest's power? Yes, I'm talking about you. Your talents are incredible, and Lady Rhea's insight as to your potential is doubly so. Plus and minus zooms in and out. Got it. Um, let's go to the options really quickly. Okay, battle speed. Normal is fine. I may speed that up at some point. I think for the next little while I'll leave it on normal, but eventually I'll probably move that up to fast. All units' actions will display. Action skip. Yeah, no. Minimap rotation on. Oh, that's in the battle. Okay, I want that on in the monastery, so I'll. That'll probably be an option. Right here. Yes, please. There we go. I, I much preferred that. Do you know of the Iyer family? We have long held the position of Prime Minister in the Empire. The Empire's power lies with six noble families, my family foremost among them. The full explanation may be time-consuming. I can give you a moment to get ready, if you would like to take notes. Honestly, Ferdinand, I don't care. <laughs> I'm not right. taking notes. I will list the six great noble families. There is Kaspar's father, Count Burgles, the Minister of Military Affairs. Then there's Linhart's father, Count Hevering, the Minister of Domestic Affairs. He clearly did not listen to what Bernadetta's I said. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is the Minister of Religious Affairs. Hubert's father, Marquis Vestra, is the Minister of the Imperial Household. Finally, we have Duke Gert, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and my own father, Duke Eyre, the Prime Minister. One day, I will take his place as the Prime Minister of the Empire. I am more talented than anyone in my class, even Edelgard. I will lead the Empire to a bright, enlightened future. Are you sure that's true, Ferdinand? You seem a little full of yourself. <laughs> that sounds like wishful thinking. I can probably get stat ups. I'm just gonna like... Achieve. I'm, I'm gonna play into people's... Oh, professor, here to recruit me, I presume? I'm, I'm gonna play to play towards people so that, you know, I can recruit people. I don't know if there's like a cap on it or something. I may be a little cautious at first and only recruit people I know I want in my party just in case there is. I don't I don't know. Well, the eldest son of House Iyer will not be so easily swayed. Seems this person is interested. Yep. So you value dex and heavy armor. Try recruiting this unit again after you gain more experience. How does armor play in?
Armor hasn't traditionally been a thing well. in the past. Here's an idea. I hear the Officer's Academy of the Monastery was founded about two centuries ago. The eastern region of Fodlan was being invaded by Almira, and so the Archbishop of the time took measures to prevent the border from being taken. In order to ensure Fodlan would be safe from potential threats, she deemed it necessary to raise a generation of excellence. That is how the establishment was founded, though its purpose has changed over the years. Okay, so notice how this one has a stopwatch next to it. So I think that's telling me that if I do this quest, um, it will take one of my two time slots that you see up at the top. Interesting. Okay, so that one will take some time. <laughs> the cathedral is nice and quiet. It's so relaxing. Oh, Professor, did you come to pray to the goddess? Me too. That's right. Shall we pray together? I totally lie. It is the duty of every Fodlan noble to demonstrate piety towards Seros. Have you also come to offer your prayers to the goddess, Professor? Sure. You don't sound terribly sure. Uh, Perhaps you are not of noble birth? After all, devotion is not as essential for a commoner. Well then. It would seem that your reputation is on the rise. Even Lady Rhea has taken a liking to you. It's a shame I am not in your class. But I suppose I am content with my current arrangement. You value charm and reason. So. Inside the cathedral, there is a chapel dedicated to the four saints. Do you know of them? Saint Indec, Saint Macuel, Saint Keyhole. Saint Sathleen! Who is your favorite professor? Now that you are a member of the church, be sure to familiarize yourself with our teachings and traditions. And if I do not? I have something to ask of you. Hold on, does this one take time? Inside it doesn't look like this one does. There is a chapel dedicated to Now that you are a... I have something to ask of you. Collect information on the Western Church and report to Sedeth. You may find an informant among the students in the courtyard. Troubling rumors. Great, am I spying on students for the church now? Feels bad, man. <laughs> saint Kathleen. I already forgot how to pronounce these. I am sorry. One of the four saints. It is said that she was a beautiful and kind soul who was beloved by all for her empathy and her ability to heal severe wounds. She is the daughter of Saint Kehoe. Oh, God. Why can't you make these easier to pronounce? It is said that he was a compassionate yet stern figure whose faith was so true he was able to perform miracles. He is the father of St. Kathleen. So, father of St. Kathleen. Okay, so you two are related. A statue of St. Macuil, one of the four saints, it is said that his gift for strategy was unparalleled. He served as the chief tactician of St. Seros, and was a pioneering figure for the master of the magical arts. Indec. It is said that he was known for his wisdom and dexterity. Though unskilled in the art of human interaction, he used his gifts to help those in need. He was also an indomitable warrior who slew countless foes on countless battlefields. Probably important in some way. Okay, that one's gonna take time. Here's an idea. Can I accept multiple quests? Let's find out. Let's go ahead and accept this one. Knowing it's going to take time. I have a favor to ask. Reward. Renown. 300 points. I don't know what that does. Does that increase my professor level or something? Oh, you know what? That's probably like a thing that you use to increase stats and stuff. That's going to be a part of the school stuff. I'm not... We'll find out more about Renown. Find out which students are passionate about music. It seems there was a sign-up sheet being passed around the dormitory seeking students to join the choir. Well, we know that one girl in Edelgard's house is a singer, right? So 
So that one hasn't taken time yet, so it probably doesn't take up time until I finish the quest. the church that was supposed to be in the courtyard right which courtyard maybe it's one of the courtyards outside of the cathedral Let's try going back for just a second. Hmm. Well, Hi. Boo. Here's an idea. No. Hey, a wyvern rider. Look at that. Hmm. All right, I don't know. Let's go over here. Oh, we haven't been to the entrance hall yet. everyone's likes and dislikes so I know what to cook. Who knows when it'll be my turn at kitchen duty. How about you, Professor? Do you like sweet or spicy food? Me personally, spicy. Spicy? Ooh, your tastes are so mature. I'll definitely remember that. You probably like sweet. That might be important. Today's the day for some bonding bites. Oh, that's to spend time with people eating. Okay. And you are the quest. Greetings. Bridget has much more warmth than Fodlin. Even Spring here has coolness. And you, Professor? Which do you find is worst? Too hot or too cold weather? I hate winter. I, have I do not like being cold. In Bridget, I am able to be wearing much lighter clothes. Training has given me great busyness right now. It is not a good time for the chatting, but you have given me intrigue. Please make sure you are speaking with me again. Yeah, what do you like? Dex and writing. Way too many vegetables in today's meal. The ratio of vegetables to sweets was completely skewed. Oh, hi, Professor. Were you just eavesdropping on me? Well, everyone knows a plateful of sweets is far preferred to a plateful of vegetables, regardless of age. Yes, I'm actually very busy right now. If you're here to ask a favor, please ask someone else. Magic and faith. Hey! Oh, Professor! How are you today? I'm just heading out for a mission. I'll be seeing you. Good luck. I don't need luck. This will be a piece of cake. I'll be back before you know it. 
And he's gone. All right. You there? What? This guy, Juritsa. He's wearing a weird mask. You look bored. Care to duel? Or is it Yaritsa, I think is how it was pronounced? What? what? I just wanted to spar. You're weird, dude. <laughs> You're a strange one. Okay, here's our market. Items. Welcome. Please come again. Hello there. And weapons. I'm guessing blacksmith and the whatever the battalions. Yes, it's gonna be battalions. Hello. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Are you settled in here at the monastery yet? Make sure to have a good look around. There's much to see. Like fish. You do know about the pond behind the dining hall, right? You can fish there. Give it a try. <laughs> That's right. You there. We will accompany you on your assignment. We don't want anything to happen to our precious students. If any of you run into trouble, we'll step in and help out. A moment, please. I'm bored. Maybe I should go into town. But that would be such a hassle. Hi, Professor. Hi, Hilda. I'm rather busy right now, so do make it quick. You don't ah, look busy to me. You can tell? I suppose being a professor has taught you how to ferret out time wasters. <laughs> professor, you look like you want to say something. Yes, you're lazy. Shape up, Hilda. But if you're here to lecture me, I'll pass. It's not like <laughs> I'm one of your students. Damn, I have no power over her. Charm and axe. Okay, back in the main hall. Oh, this connects. Please. Manuela. You know, Professor, there are some things I'll just never understand. Like the other night, I went on a date with a dashing, handsome, strong young knight. Oh, I'm a bit weak just remembering him. Anyway, well. do you know what that no-good jerk said when we got back to my room? He said, what a mess. I'm afraid to go in there. Can you believe it? <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to see the place to know for sure, but I'd probably go in anyways. You know who cares about keeping everything neat and tidy? Not me, that's who. Afraid to go in there. Some knight he is. Although, personally, I'm not a big fan of the over-the-top makeup. I'm a, I, I like minimal... Minimal makeup is fine. What is this? That's the symbol thing that um, came out for my... I think that's the symbol that came out when uh, what's his bucket um, did the crest thing. The amiibo gazebo. Nope. I don't have any Fire Emblem amiibo. I only have like three amiibo. One of them's the uh, 8-bit Mario, and I've got Link and Zelda. How about who this? are you, Thomas? Do you know about the Cardinals? They are the ones who run the church. Their identities are a closely guarded secret. Oh, so they're the ones I'll have to kill? I mean, I joke, but let's be honest, that's likely to happen, right? Hi. They're gonna turn out to be evil or something. You like me. Oh, Professor. Hello. Truth is, my, um, uh, my undershirt got blown away by the wind. A and it's not important why. It only matters that it's pale blue. Um. Let's search for it. <gasps> Thank you so much. I do find you very interesting, Professor. 
I'm just not sure if it's enough to change classes. Hmm. Let me think about it a bit more. Charm and authority. I'm recruiting you, Bernadetta. You get out of that damn room. What is it? I'm not doing anything. No, you're going to come out of there. You're going to join my house. Uh, hey, what's this cake doing out here? What do you think? You think she likes sweets, people? Cake? Oh, come on. That's just cruel. Yeah, that is kind of cruel, especially if I don't actually have a cake. I'll have to invite you to to eat some food with me or something. Uh, um, <laughs> hi. Hi. Sorry, I'm trying, but you're still kind of a stranger. Strength and bow. Coming for you, girl. Choir sign-up sheet. Okay. A list of students from the Blue Lion House who wish to participate in choir practice. Report to the choir coordinator. We still haven't found the people that we need to... Do those, like, highlights show up on this map or only when we see them on our mini-map? Because I don't know where the West Church stuff is. So this part of the game is probably going to be a little bit slow at the beginning, um, just because I have to explore a lot and learn how all these systems work. So hopefully you'll all bear with me. I mean, we're like 50 minutes into this and haven't gotten to a battle yet, so... My savior, thank you. I'm sorry about that, but yeah. Um, we do need to learn how all these systems work. Oh, so doing the quest didn't take time. That's a different thing. Okay, cool. Interesting. Good to know. So quests, you you just do the quests. And I'm guessing these quests are going to help us learn where all these things are. So choir is something that we can do. Certain characters like that more. Okay. In that case, let's go and get this quest. Right. Would you kindly do something for me? Collect recipes for the head chef. The library has quite a few cookbooks with interesting recipes. You might even try your hand at cooking once you have permission to. Okay, where is the library? Do I know where the library is? Training grounds. I mean, is it this area that I can't get to yet? Oh, second floor over in the cathedral. Alright, let's go over here where there's another quest thing. Oh, this is the probably for the Western Church. Bridget, Elmira, Thusker. Even people from far off lands gather here at the Academy. Word of advice, Professor. There are those who don't think kindly of such people. Dissidents Intel. Oh man, I am spying for the church. This feels bad. I don't want to do this. Take your information, you dick. Well done. You have my thanks. Okay. The stairs were further back in the other building, right? Hi. Yes, yeah, so the second floor of that building where the library really? is at. 
Professor. Yeah, when you're running around, it struggles a little bit, doesn't it? Frame rate wise. Oh, stairs were right over here. Let's see. What? Should be down this hall, right? Tantalizing cookbook. Cook recipes that make you hungry just reading them. This will probably help out the head chef. Cooking recipes said to have been used since long ago. This will probably help the head chef. What are you doing, Ignatz? I'm so glad to be a student here. If only because I get to use this library. Reading books from all the regions of Fodlan. I feel almost like I'm visiting those places myself. You can learn so much from books. I agree. Yeah. They're brimming with the knowledge and experience of our ancestors. Figured he'd like that. Ah, perfect. I'd like to learn more about you. Maybe someday you can add me to your class. Dex and authority. What does authority do? Cooking recipes with illustrations that make them easy to follow. You feel it? You... That even you could cook with this. Was authority for dark magic? Was it authority in faith? Swimming through a sea of countless books, tracking down that single sought after volume, it's absolute bliss. How do the poor fools who spend their days sharpening swords and polishing armor find any joy in life? How do you find joy in life when you have that haircut? Huh? I mean, what? Your class? I can see the appeal, yes. However, I still have a lot of books I wish to read in this class. But talk to me again, okay? Magic and reason. Now, reason was the dark magic. What's authority? Register of Kingdom Nobles. Prominent noble house of the Holy Kingdom of Fergus. This document is expressly for official use by Church of Saros. Students are forbidden to remove or peruse this documentation. Why? House Bladid. The house claims Bladid of the Ten Elites as its ancestor has ruled the kingdom for over 400 years. Ever since Lug, the King of Lions, claimed victory in the War of the Eagle and Lion in 751. This secured the kingdom of independence from the Adrestian Empire, after which Lug was blah blah blah. Okay. I may read those at some point. I don't know how important they are. All right, just a lot of noble houses, it looks like. The Book of Saros. Dare not doubt or deny the power or existence of the goddess. Dare not speak the goddess's name in vain. And the goddess of Saros, who we saw in the opening cutscene, was like, seemed to be a normal, mortal human being. Dare not disrespect your father, mother, or any who serve the goddess. Dare not abuse the power gifted to you by the goddess. Dare not kill, harm, lie, or steal unless such acts are committed by the will of the goddess. Ooh, that one's sketchy as shit. The goddess cares for and protects all that is beautiful in this world. The goddess will never deny the splendor of love, affection, joy, peace, faith, kindness, temperance, modesty, or patience. Follow her example and in doing so abide her laws. Yeah, the Church of Saros is going to turn out to be uh, sketchy as hell. I can already tell. Common RPG trope, yes. But one that is founded in history. I mean, just look at the Crusades. Well. There's all sorts of history that shows that people do shitty things in the name of religion, so... It's a trope for a reason, and it's because history has proven that uh, religious Professor. people that are very devout can do horrible, horrible things in the name of their god. 
Okay, report to the head chef. Let's go. Rhea is somewhere in here. Where is Rhea? Am I, like, walking right into her? Oh, I am. <laughs> I see. What's up? Thank you for paying me a visit. You're welcome. Is there anything troubling you? Or is there perhaps something I can help you with? Yeah, in, in what situations do you allow your people to, you know, steal and pillage in the name of your god? About the teaching of Sarah. Believers live their lives by her sacred wisdom. Please use the library's vast resources to learn more. I did. What I saw concerned me. I can often be found here, so if there is ever anything you need, please do not hesitate to pay me a visit. Lifesaver. Okay, so essentially do all of the quests and then you can spend time as you see fit. Now, fishing and eating had buffs. So I might do those. Because I feel like uh, that's what it's trying to indicate to me to do. Meat from birds hunted in the hills can be used when you share a meal. Okay. So yeah, let's go and do fishing and stuff. We're, we're gonna have to Maybe. learn what all the benefits of all these different things are, but. A list of different types of fish that can be caught in the fishing pond. Downright comprehensive. Whoa. Wow, finding that gave us experience towards our professor level, it looked like. Freshwater snail that occasionally attracts uncommon fish. Yeah. All purpose bait often attracts everyday fish. Uncommon fish. Let's go for that. Could have done better. Tutates loach? A stately bearded fish from Lake Tutates. Can be used when you share a meal. Oh, I could have fished more. This doesn't seem to take time. Perfect. Silverfish. 200 gold. Somewhat costly fish that glimmers like polished silver. I'm guessing we can sell that? Like, should I use all of this? Should I just fish this out? Wow, that's a five-star fish. Cross between loaches and pikes, spawn in Lake Tutates, cook into a dish that boosts defense. There's gonna be so much content in this game. It's gonna be ridiculous. Darn. Somewhat costly fish that glimmers like polished silver. Yeah, those ones don't look like they can be cooked. So those ones are probably just for money. Queen loach, beautiful specimen among two tates loaches. Cook into a dish that boosts decks. Whoops.
All right, out of bait. Bernadetta, I'm inviting you to eat. Okay, so these require you to have the the stuff. Peach sorbet. Let's see. Let's see if I can find one that Bernadetta likes. Then I can look out for those ingredients. Okay, it doesn't have the orange arrow up. So nothing that I can make does she particularly love. What about today's special? I mean, what do these different icons mean? There's the blue arrows up, there's the orange arrow up, and there's the happy face. Huh. eat alone in my room, but since that's apparently not allowed... Okay. This is my absolute favorite! How did you know, Professor? So motivation increases on the people that are already in your party. I don't know what motivation does, but it may have an effect on our stats in the next battle. Okay. Now what else can we do today? So there is the greenhouse, and there's food, and maybe training grounds? We haven't looked at the training grounds yet. Let's go and look at the training grounds. What the? Uh. Could be. And then before we move on, I'll make sure that I've talked to everybody. That's said. Reminds me. Professor, the next assignment is to drive out bandits? Sounds like some training is in order. Tell me something, Professor. When it comes to a one on one battle, which is better, strength or skill? I feel like you value strength. I knew it! When it's all said and done, muscle always comes out on top. Good to see you, Professor. Did you need something from me? I was just on my way to train, so I'm pretty busy. We can talk soon. Strength and heavy armor. Hey there, Professor. You here to check in on my training? Oh, that reminds me. I found this small cloth. It's kind of weird. Not really sure what it is, but it works great for wiping up sweat. Oh my gosh, is that... What was her name? Uh, the one with the hat. Are you using her, her undershirt? Oh gosh. Hey, Professor. Here to cause some trouble? No? Well, whatever then. I think that's what's supposed to be implied there. I kind of like that they just don't outright say that, that you can kind of infer. Strength and brawl. All right. Professor, Felix Sylvain and I have known each other since we were children. His Highness as well. Though I should warn you that both Felix and Sylvain are a bit challenging at times. The moment I take my eyes off them, they're off causing all kinds of trouble. It's always been that way. I need to get you two in the next battle, I think. For years, the Boar Prince and I were inseparable. I know him better than almost anyone else. The Boar Prince? Is that Dimitri? So, so like, you and Dimitri are pretty close friends then? So Is that what I'm supposed to advice. infer? Beneath all that princely polish, he's an animal. Nothing more. Um, whoa. I mean, that can be taken multiple ways. I'm not sure which one you mean, Felix. He's strong and skilled, sure. 
But don't place your trust in him as a human being. Whoa! Take care he doesn't chew you up and spit you out. I was not expecting that. Okay. Doesn't look like we can do things in the training ground yet. So we'll spend our time elsewhere. Who likes... I mean, we gotta start, like, learning what people like. Okay, so Annette likes this. Dorothea, she was the one who lost her undershirt. <laughs> okay, so if we did this, Annie. Let's, maybe, we could do Annie and Dimitri here. Oh, maybe this is, like, our party member's happiness. So, like... Their moods go down, and then you spend time with them to get them back up. I'm guessing that that's what this means. And then these blue arrow ups probably mean that these people will benefit more from this. So this is more about keeping your party members happy. This is more about getting more affinity points or something. Okay, so Annie likes the choir. I feel like you would hate this. I'm surprised that's not like a red arrow down. There are people who do hate it. I wouldn't mind starting to get your stuff up too. I don't know what you like. You probably like training. Sure. Singing is so much fun. Everyone should enjoy themselves while they're doing it. They won't notice if one person doesn't sing, will they? <laughs> Just move your mouth, nobody will know the difference. You're good, Bernadette. It's Bernadetta, right? Bernadetta? I like how they're incorporating, like, the Fire Emblem theme is incorporated in that little bell thing. Um, and I really like the way they incorporated it into the opening menu, too. Okay, so we've used up all of our time. Let's just really quickly see if there's anybody else we need to talk to. Marianne. Yeah, I, w I do want to talk to you. You might be somebody I want to recruit. Shamir? Who are you? I don't remember meeting you anywhere. Okay. Looks like there's two people. Is this Shamir person part of one of the classes? Um, how do I change the size of the... There it is. ZR. So where are you at? Hey there. Oh. Who are you? Are you part of one of the houses? Ooh, I like you. Good design. Like the hair. Purple eyes. I'm digging it. No. Sorry. Must be my imagination. That face. Have we met? No. Who are you? Professor! Join my team. Uh, hello. Um, if you'll excuse me. Oh, Professor. Hello. Excuse me. I, um, I have to go. Magic and writing. I see you. Okay, I think that's it. Let's proceed. If you don't yet know the proper procedure for lectures, I will tell you all that I know. Assuming that's agreeable to you, of course. 
When you instruct your students, they gain skill experience. As their skill levels increase, they will gain access to new abilities and combat arts. The number of people you can instruct is indicated by your activity points at the top of the screen. When you set up a group task, the students you assign will continue the task until you change it. After the first round of instruction each month, your students may come to you with a question. They will be motivated if they like your answer. So is this per week or is this something that continues throughout the month? It kind of sounds like it may be a little bit of both. If they like your answer, they will be motivated after the first round of instruction. Before Skill beginning a goals? lecture, we would be most appreciative if you would first make note of our study goals. After all, everyone wishes to prioritize studying fields related to their goals, right? Students study on their own and earn skill experience according to their skill goals. Results are reported at the end of each week. You can alter students' goals at any time using the goals menu. Okay, so give them things that you want them to get growths in. I believe you can ensure better results by instructing individuals based on their interests and specialties. Of course, that doesn't mean it's pointless to teach someone things unrelated to their goals. You never okay. know if a student will develop an interest in something by overcoming their distaste for it. Man, a lot of choice here. A three-star mark next to a skill indicates that you will unlock a budding talent after a certain amount of instructing. Okay, so like in that example, they're really bad. Dorothy is really bad um, with tomes, but with the three star, that means that she could become good at it. Interesting. Once you unlock a budding talent, that person will go on to excel in that particular skill. They may even learn a new ability or combat art. Everyone's study goals will likely change based on the experience they receive from future instruction or assignments. When that happens, it would be greatly beneficial if you could advise us as to what new goals we should set for ourselves. As students, as students improve from instructing in personal study, they may approach you with suggestions for new goals. Whether to accept their suggestions or not is completely up to you. Feel free to guide your students along paths of your own choosing. But that probably just helps you not get too overburdened with all the choices. No matter how passionate you are about tutoring someone, it's difficult to get good results if that student lacks motivation. To increase a student's motivation, it's probably best to appeal to them in a variety of ways. If it's not too much trouble, I would be grateful if you would try to pay attention to everyone's motivation level. One way to increase motivation is to interact with your students around the monastery. Students are encouraged to engage in various activities in and around the monastery. Is that supposed to be a horse? What's wrong with that horse? By working together, students can strengthen their relationships and, in time, achieve better results more readily. You can assign one group task each week. Students who take part will earn skill experience based on your choice. You can also get gold and resources by completing these tasks. The result of a group task will depend on the student's strengths, weaknesses, and affinity for one another. All right. So many things. Certification exams. Certification exams are held every month at the Officers Academy. To become a new class, one must first overcome the certification exam for that class. Needless to say, if one lacks the required abilities, passing will prove difficult. Okay. I hope that you will plan ahead for the certification exams and instruct everyone accordingly. I need to make F Felix a Myrmidon, I think. I'll look at their stats and see who... Server maintenance starting? Okay. I don't know what that means. I don't know exactly what the online features are, but I'm assuming this won't affect us. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Benefits of a high of high tier classes include increased stats and growth rates. Oh god. That was a lot. That was a lot. I almost wish that it would do those individually as we go to these auto instruct group tasks goals goals what is that flag that's authority and i don't really know what authority is 
grants might plus two with gambits. Okay. All right. I may have to look into that more. I feel like I'm missing something. Because it's listed as, like, a skill level, like, weapons? No, I guess, uh, Knight is there, as well as Horseback and Pegasus, or Flying. So maybe it, it's for skills. Maybe Authority is something specifically uh, for skills, like Gambits and things. Oh, we equip... We equip goals. Lance and authority. Or we can do custom focuses. Alright, we're going to leave them on their set paths for now. Yep, you do, you're mostly a magic person. So we're probably, instead of doing bows with you, we're going to end up giving you magic tomes and stuff. Alright, looks like we've got our bases covered. I don't know if right now would be a good time to set somebody to, like, do horseback stuff. I would need to look at the, uh, the trees for job classes. You already have a D in horses and pegasus, so you'll probably be somebody who's a rider of some kind. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one B for now. Group tasks. So can I, I assign people to all of these? Skywatch. Work together to secure the skies raises flying skills. Give that to you. Oh, look, it gives you expected results and stars. Um, it would be really nice if I could look at people's stats right here. I mean, I guess it shows their level right now. You're the only one at a D. Um, as a mage, you may end up being like a troubadour type class. So maybe you should learn... I mean, this is Skywatch. That's not Riding. Riding is probably going to be the stable one. Are Pegasus um, only females in this game? Let's throw... Okay, you would do well there. You two are probably going to... Yeah. They do in a net there. So you would be good here as well. I'm guessing Pegasus Knight might be a more advanced class. Oh man, I need to look at those trees. Let's do Ingrid and Mercedes on this one. Okay, so you can only do one. Got it. So maybe I should do these two, just because they get the most benefit, it looks like. Okay, instruct. And... I can do this with three people, it looks like. What does that up pointing finger mean? Does that mean it's one of the goals? Is that what their goals are? Pro professor expertise plus two. Oh, because it's something that I'm good at, it gets a bonus? Quite intriguing. Thank you.
two sessions. Okay. You could also end up being a brawler, right? What's your speed stat? Nine. And that's probably pretty good, yeah? Can't really compare to other people right now. Oh, I can look at their classes. Yeah, I think I made the right choice. Flying is probably something that doesn't happen until much later in most of these classes, so... Doing the stables with those other two was probably a good choice. Quite intriguing. Maybe bows? It would be good to have somebody who's really good with the sword but can also do ranged attacks with bows when he needs to. This could be Okay, so now he's a little bit worn out. Look at his face now. So maybe I shouldn't use all of the... Hmm. Interesting. Okay. You have three sessions when you do these, so, like, you really should use them all, but then it wears people out. And that may have stat... issues? Possibly? I appreciate your guidance. Huh. So yeah, the people that are going to get instructions are going to be worn out. And I don't I know what kind of... Guidance. I don't know how that's going to hurt us. You know? I want you to be able to use reason magic as well. Thank you, pra Praise? <laughs> I'm sure oh, I'll cool. do it again next time. Wait, now I have two more sessions? Oh, so do I have as many sessions as they have, um, like, motivation, then? I think so. I mean, it's just a question of whether I should be exhausting it. Which I really don't know if I should or not. Huh. Automatically chain area of focus skills for some units. Alright. I've done everything, right? Let's begin the lecture. I'd like to ask you something. Art has never been my forte. Even when I apply myself and sketch a ton, I don't seem to improve much. I can envision an image so perfectly in my head, but turning it into something physical that I feel good about eludes me. I don't know you that well. I mean, she could value having more focus and diligence. Imperfections in an art piece add to the charm. Don't worry about the end result. Just keep practicing. Yeah, I don't know her well enough yet. That's right. Okay, cool. Okay, a week of Let's instruction. I am a little uneasy. Here's the report. Okay, that's the group. Support points between the two increased. I don't even know if they can support, but I'm guessing if it says that, maybe they can. So maybe everybody in this uh, group can support with each other. That would make sense. And then maybe there may not be as many with other people from other houses. Smithing stones. Okay. Okay, and then these are their goals that automatically start better. moving up. Hey, fire magic. 
Yes, good. All right. That gives her a little bit more utility. Raphael's birthday. Okay, time for the battle, but unfortunately this was an incredibly long episode. So I'm going to go ahead and save here, and in the next episode we'll get to the battle. Sorry about that, I know this was like an hour and a half of uh, just the monastery, but you know, we're learning. We're learning a lot, so hopefully you guys still had a good time, and next time we'll get right into the battle.